okay <coughs> the here in this problem they have given hexagonal pyramid base head 30 is 30 axis length 60 long rest with its base on hp with two sides of the base edges are perpendicular to vp so here the base edges will be perpendicular so it is cut by a cutting plane inclined at 30 degree to hp perpendicular to vp bisects the axis so bisect the axis means it is exactly cutting at the midpoint of the axis axis length given 60 that means midpoint will be 30 okay draw the front view sectional top view sectional side view and true shape of the sections okay so that's what we have to do in this problem okay here first i'm going to construct a hexagon okay hexagon mm. hexagon here i'm going to construct okay x a p s p so here using uh, circle method i'm going to do it so base head is given 30 30 means uh, radius we should consider one and a half okay so one and a half means uh, it will be less i think uh, 30 mm should consider Thirty mm radius consider and draw a circle. Okay. Now, from this point, you cut the arcs. Okay. So now we join it. To complete the hexagon Marking the numbers A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So hexagon it is done. Now we draw the slant edges. Since it is a pyramid, so we should draw the thick lines. Oh, and bow one. So dimension is thirty. So now we draw the front weave. Axis length given in this problem it is 60. You can see that. A dash, F dash, B dash, A dash, C dash, D dash, O and dash and O dash. So since it is an axis, sixty. Okay. So now we have to draw a cut plane. You can see here it is cut by a cutting plane inclined at thirty degree to HP and perpendicular to bisect the axis. So bisect the axis means so midpoint is 30 so that dimension also here 30 okay so here so we have to draw an angle line for 30 degree Okay, see it is uh, cutting an angle of 30 degree. Okay, so it is done. Now we can mention the naming here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, draw the projection lines. 
Skating gear one. So two and five we are not able to read it properly. So I'm just going to project it from this end. This is your three, two, and five again, right? Then project downward. Okay. Compass here can measure this distance. Red bar, this is here 0.2. So we're getting uh, 3 and 4 easily, no problem. Uh, sorry, this is not uh, 3. So here. projecting this is 0.3 and this is 0.4 and then again we don't have the 0.5 again the same thing so we should measure so we already measure at this time right so I'm gonna look at it this is your 5 and this is your 6 now I can join it This is the sectional top V, so I can mention here. So sectional top V is done. And now the same way, you can see here. I'm going to mention the full shape. So first we are going to mark the perpendicular points. So take compass. So measure from here one here. So this is your first point. The second point I have point number six on the same line. So we can cut it two arcs. Same way. Point number two and point number five. Then we have this point number three and four. Okay, just I'll extend this line. This is one, six, two, five, three, and four. We can join it. So this is our full shape of the section. Now we have to draw the sectional side view. Okay. Sectional side view we have to draw. So here I am going to consider x1, y1 and we have to draw a 45 degree angle line. Okay, 45 degree angle line. Okay. 
height will be same So this is your O point. This is double dash A double dash. Sorry, this is our E double dash. This is F double dash. And this point we have D double dash. This is O and dash. Okay. This point we have A double dash and C double dash. This point we have D B double dash. So put one axis here. This is O dash. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> now I have to project it from this lens also. Okay. Now this is five, and this is six. This is one. Two point with this. Okay, now join it. This is a sectional side view. Okay, so this completes the problem.